What's poppin', everybody? I shouldn't even say what's poppin'. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. It is me, your sole proprietor of this establishment, your one six scale supreme leader. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the lounge. So, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button on your way in. Let's get it going. So, hope everybody is having a fantastic <coughs> Thursday evening. I know I am. So, let's go ahead and let's start saying what is up to everybody in the chat. So, we've got about 38 people watching right now. So we got Roe V, we got Roy's, uh, Rob's Toy Hunt. What's up, Seth? Did you finish the Joe Fix-It Wave? Not yet, but I'm working on it. We got JJ Funko, we got Louis the Fizz, we got Hey Ya and Tyler AA, what's up? We got J Funko, we got Frodo Pop, we got Cobra Classified, what's going on? We've got Miami Nemesis 1, we got Ronaldo, we got Primetime Reviews, how's it going? Uh, let's see who else we got. We got Craven the Toy Hunt. What is up? We got my man Jason in the chat. We got the Marvelous Knight himself. He's here. What's going on? We got KB. Where'd that go? We got KB. We got Rob. We got Trevor McGuire. We got Marvel Lord 83. We got Jasmine Hussein. We've got Zach the Collector. We got Darius Bell. What's happening, dude? We got Juan Ortega, Jay Garcia, North Nathaniel. We got Louis, Luis, hey, I'm a big fan. Can you hot toys? Hot toys! We got my man David, Diamond Dave is in the chat. What up, Diamond Dave? We got Beast Slayer, we got Malaka. If I said that wrong, I apologize. We got Anthony, YouTube fan, what's going on? We got Right Guy 75. We got my, we got my man Captain Powerlift is in the chat. He's gonna power lift this. He's gonna power lift us all. What's up? What's up, Jam? We got Big Bad Mike. We got Richard Bailey. We got Ruben Guzman. And uh, yeah, so we got 61 people watching right now. And we've got about 31 thumbs up. So guys, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. We got the greatest name on YouTube, King Dingaling. What's up? We got the OGest of geeks. The OG Geek. What's up, brother? How's it going? The writer, the producer, the choreographer, the center photographer of Growing Up Sucks. The OGest of geeks. So we got Sandra. How's it going? We got 72 people watching. So, all right, guys. Well, let's just go ahead and get down to the brass tacks. So we're here today because of this. The Venom Pool. So... If you guys watched my last hunt video, you know I picked this up last week. Uh, yeah. So, I'm super excited to get this open. So, let me just give you guys a quick look at the box. So, as you guys can see, we got Venom Pool. We've got the Contest of Champions logo. On the side, it's just the repeat uh, image of the arm with the sword. Same thing on the other side. On the top, we've got Venom Pool. On the bottom, there's nothing. On the back, it is all the information of all the people involved in making this. So, with that being said, let's get this cracked open. Let's get this cracked open. I want to open some hot toys. Oh, yeah. All right. This thing is a beast. Oh, yeah. All right. That to the side. Yeah, this, this thing is a this thing is a mamma jamma. Um, Miami Nemesis. This was about four hundred dollars, give or take. So let's go ahead. Let's pop the top. Does this even come with a stand? Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do the stand first. Actually, there is no stand. Jesus, thank you. 
All right, so let's see what we got. Is it as heavy as the Hulkbuster? No, it is not. So let's pull that out. Hmm. Okay. Fuck are these things? Ooh. No idea what the hell these things are, but obviously it looks like they might be needed. So we pull them out. So, this is interesting. So, this does not come with a base. So, this is the first hot toy I've actually purchased that it does not come with a base. So, they must feel that it's strong enough to stand on its own, too. It does not need the base. So, let's take the top off. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice and rubberish. All right, let's see what this is. Let's see the instructions real fast. All right. No, there is no comparison with a Hulkbuster. All right. I just want to make sure I know what I'm getting myself into with this real fast. Okay, so that is just symbiote then all right all right so good deal all right that works we know what we're getting ourselves into hulkbuster doesn't have a base you're right it doesn't all right let's put the instructions back in where they belong who would win, Hulkbuster or Venompool? I don't know. It's a good question. That is a good question. What's up, Jay Stone? What's up, Geoforce Racing? Catfish Billy? What's up, Cellcom? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and let's start taking a look at some of this stuff. So one of the first things... Those eyes? Yeah. All right, so one of the first things I want to show off are the hands. So let me get my trusty zoom in. What? Okay, so see if it auto focuses. Oh, you don't want to auto focus tonight, don't don't you? You don't want to autofocus tonight? You're giving me crap. So, all right, so we're going to make do with what we got. So here is the hand. As you guys can see, there is a whole bunch of texture on that. You guys can see the, the nails. Man, I really am not digging this right now. I don't know why this is not autofocusing. There we go. So, as you guys can see, black nails got like a whole bunch of texture. You can see the veins on the knuckles and the hands and everything, so pretty good. So, this is probably one of the hands that holds the, um, the sword. Um, he's got a finger pointing, as you guys can see. Again, you guys could see it's it's so veiny. You guys could see all that. You guys could see the texture, which is really cool. And again, that black polish on the nails is really nice. So, really, really cool. Um, let's see what other hands we got in here. Um, we've got a closed, just a regular plain Jane closed fist. So again, you guys can see the texture on it. Really, really cool. You guys can see that, the veins and everything, and then the, the texture on it. 
really, really nice. And again, those black nails, there's a nice gloss paint on those black nails. Really, really, really nice. So they did a good job on painting that. Um, then they actually have a cell phone, which comes with it, which is pretty funny. So they got a cell phone, it says urgent call. And then on the back, it's got the uh, Deadpool logo and a camera. So got a little bit of a cell phone. I don't know if it's like an iPhone or a, looks like it might be a, uh, like a Galaxy phone. Not like Galaxy phone, like a uh, Android. So pretty cool. Now, this is one of the cool features right here, guys. Let me zoom this back this out just a little bit. All right. Look at this. Look at that gun. That gun is super detailed. Really, really, really nice. The cool thing about this is, look, it actually pulls back. Slide release. You can actually see the bullet in the chamber, which is really cool. Um, I believe, yep, the magazine slides out, which is really cool. And you can actually see the bullet in the magazine. This is what I love about Hot Toys. Just the small little details like this go a long way. And then obviously back in. And then it's cocked. Boom. Just like that. You guys can see the gun. It's basically a ported out Desert Eagle, which is freaking badass. I definitely love the paint on this, and it's got the red on the sights and on the safeties and everything. Really cool. Um, the only thing I don't like, the hammer doesn't go back, but yeah, this is really dope. Super, super cool. Then we've got, um, they give you like different tongues to put in his mouth. So there's one that's like long like this, and the tongue definitely has like some texturing on it which is really cool. So they give you two different tongues. Um, it looks like they give you um, some different sets of, of eyes. So you guys can see they give you like two different sets of eyes. I don't know. I don't think it's anything special with the eyes, but that's just me. So, whoo! Zoom out. So, let's see. What else you got? Dude, there's so much stuff. It doesn't come with a whole lot of accessories. It does come with the swap out hands, which is really cool. Um, also, it comes with these. These are like um, symbiote tentacles that like go into the plug into his back. And you bend them and everything. And I think these, these port on there, I think. I don't know. They're supposed to. Is that how that goes? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how that goes. And then it plugs, plugs right into his back. Let me see. That might not be the right one. Yeah. This is the right one. Yeah. So be careful when you're putting these on if you guys pick this up because. These, uh, these actually, there's two of them and they actually do line up differently. So you want to make sure you're putting the right ones on the right pieces. So, yeah, guys. And then we've got the, let me zoom in for this. Woo. We've got the samurai or yeah, his swords. So obviously there's a port right there. So they port right into his back. They come out of the sheath. And it is, let me see if I could zoom in a little bit better for you guys. And as you guys can see, it is, let me back out just a little. Bear with me, guys. Still learning how to use this new camera. So there it is right there. You guys can see. So it's definitely got detail. It's all tapered up. You guys can see. This is plastic, by the way. I know sometimes in the past they've done um, metal for this. But it is pretty cool. Nice Deadpool samurai sword. It's really cool. And obviously it just goes right back in. Make sure you're putting it in the right side. And boom. So you guys can see. 
pretty detail. Pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> just plain. All right. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Let's see what's going on. Yes, I did see the new Venom that they announced today for the movie. It's not coming out until 2022, but it looks freaking amazing, and I definitely will be picking that up. Totosh Toys, have I ever broken a brand new hot toy? Yes, I did break a hot toy last week, but I was able to fix it. So whoever mentioned that in the chat last week about me never breaking it, and I said, yeah, and yes, I've never broken one. Well, guess what? I popped my cherry. I broke one. So... Thank you for whoever mentioned that and jinxed me. I did see the new Gold Iron Man. Um, I'm not quite exactly a fan on that. And that's one that they've put out a while ago, so they're just re-releasing it. Um, how many Hot Toys do I have? Um, Zach, right now at the moment, I have about almost 38 Hot Toys. That's last month's Ronin Ninja Turtles. Do you think the new Venom movie should do a two-pack for Marvel Legends? No. I think the only way I would have a statue is like to sell my Funko Pops. They need a Homelander hot toy. I, you know what? I hope they actually do put out um, Hot Toys of the Boys. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I pulled the trigger on the Res Razor Crest today. Awesome Geoforce Racing. That's awesome. How does it look next to? Never mind. I promised you I would behave. Aw, oh, bitch. <laughs> Wow, 38, your wife is probably pissed. Um, eh, you know, listen, I got that Jedi get out of jail free card, so there ain't shit she could say or do about it. So I'm good right now. Next to the Hulkbuster. Thank you for finishing that, Jan. Much appreciated. So I want Black Noir. <laughs> when are you going to unbox Spider Man 2099? Soda Pop, I will probably plan on doing that next week, or I might just do a um, pre-recorded um, review on that. I haven't decided yet. Are you getting the Hellboy Hot Toy because it kind of matches together? I haven't seen the Hellboy one. Oh yeah, you got that free card. Nice. I did get that free card. So... Uh, what else is going on, guys? Hmm? Anything new? Do you find it better to pre-record an unboxing or go live? You know, I actually prefer to go live. That's just me. Um, only because I like to interact with you guys as I'm, as I'm doing this. I think it's fun. My man, the Doc, the powerful DCE, I just want to go on re record. What do you want to go on record for? Mike is indeed not homeless. <laughs> Do a size comps comparison between Toys Era Colossus and Venipool. I don't have the uh, Toy Era Colossus, unfortunately. Hey, man, just wanted to say thanks for getting me into this stuff and making those YouTube videos. I really love collecting, not not because of you. <laughs> you're welcome, Christian. I appreciate it, man. Are there any hot toys you missed out on that you're hunting for? I'm hunting for them all, Reclaimer. I'm hunting for them all. I'm hunting for Spider-Man's, Captain America's, Iron Man's, and anything else that possibly might tickle my fancy. You should do a video on all your hot toys. Andrew, I am currently going to be working on that. I just want to rearrange this display a little bit before I do that. Any tips to someone trying to build their channel? Gee whiz, I get asked this question a thousand times and I will give you the same answer I give everyone else. It's about having fun with what you do, consistency, and just enjoying, enjoying it and having fun. Even though I said that twice. Consistency is the main thing, though. Consistency is key. Pick a day and then make sure every day that is the day you drop that video. So, like, every Tuesday, you can expect my hunt video to drop. Every Thursday, you can expect an episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. Consistency is key. Repetition is what helps because then people get accustomed to your videos dropping on that day. And then the rest is history. My favorite hot toy right now, of course, is always my Hulkbuster. Live is more fun. Let's see. You are one of the best YouTubers that got me into collecting Marvel Legends. Thank you, Optimal Gamer. I appreciate that. Best tag team, Nash and Hall, Edge and Christian. Oh, I'm an Edge and Christian guy, man. I'm totally an Edge and Christian. 
Don't listen to Seth. It's about getting laid. <laughs> Love your hunts, brother. Thank you, man. Mike, I'm still working on consistency. YouTube is now like being a, in a band. At What's Poppin', I sold all my hot toy babies. Just Scarlet Witch left. Did you get the other Wonder Woman? Nope, I did not. Weird question. What do you do for a living? Unfortunately, Frost, Frosty, that is one of the questions I don't answer. Um, there are some things that I like to keep private in my life, and what I do for a living is one of them. Bob Great, I thought it was important to have the family screaming in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's about that witching hour for my kids. Hot toys or sideshow you prefer? Well, I prefer hot toys. That's, that's my thing, man. Going to get more Marvel Legends later this week. Thanks for the inspiration. No problem, man. At least a size comparison with Thanos. Again, that I can actually do. If you give me a little bit, Road Warriors best tag team. Captain Powerlift, he's a male gigolo. Now coming to the stage, Jewish Thunder. <laughs> Seth, how far back do you go with wrestling and who was your, how, who was your favorite? Favorite to me is always Hogan. Hogan is my, my go-to. Um, I've been watching wrestling since the 80s, since I was a kid, so that's how far back I go. So I was with the 80s. I was with, um, you know, Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, all those guys. I was with the Attitude Era. I was with the, uh, the, the Ruthless Aggression Era, you know, up until, up until now. Would love to go on a hunt with you and OG. If you live in the South Florida area, please, by all means, contact one of us, and we can definitely work something out, and we can go on a hunt together. Yeah, I love your collections, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sam Hogan is number one. From your Hot Toys collection, which is your favorite Captain America? Um, I would probably have to say right now, my favorite Captain America is actually um, one I don't have yet. I've been waiting on my Captain America from Endgame for almost a year and change already. I'm waiting for that to come in. That is the one that I want the most. Did you see the new Ultimate Fiend yet? Yes, I did. Why did I stop collecting pops? Because it wasn't fun anymore. It wasn't fun to collect them anymore. I got tired of comp competing with resellers and other collectors. Um, I got tired of waking up at the gas crack of dawn to try to get, you know, the pops. I just got tired of it. I got burnt out collecting them. I decided I wanted to move on to something that I would be more passionate about and have more fun with. And I'm definitely having a blast collecting the figures and the hot toys and the statues and all that other good stuff. So started watching wrestling when Bob Backlund was champ. <laughs> watching while taking a break from online classes. Thank you so much. You guys ever coming to Frank and Sons here in Cali? Totosh, that is definitely on mine and OG Geek's um, travel list, you know, is to get out that way and check out Frank and Sons. We've heard great things about it from uh, Big Dub. So uh, that's definitely a place we want to check out. Um, thanks for the spark and getting me to start the hunt. No problem. What are your thoughts on Mezco's? I like Mezco figures. I think they're great. Have you seen the Hogan... NWO Ultimate Figure. Yes, right guy, I have that on pre-order. What is that? Why did you stop collecting Funko, Seth? Because I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> Fucking guy. I hope to see you at Frankenstein soon. Are you going to see The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 2, or no? Yes, I plan on watching it tomorrow at some point. Are you ever going to put a backdrop and a base put a backdrop and a base to those detox. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to, but you know, again, the, the, you know, it, as, as any collector goes through the motions, the display is always an ever evolving change. So there's detox. Then the next step from detox is custom shelving and all kinds of stuff. So it's just a, it's just a work right, a work in progress right now. The powerful DCE Seth is, isn't welcome in CA, just Mike. Wow. That sucks, man. How am I not welcome in Cali? Have you ever thought of collecting anything from Assassin's Creed? No. George actually does a lot of the collecting from Assassin's Creed. He actually has a lot of the uh, Assassin's Creed statues. And that is George's game of choice. So I do not... George does not like step on my stuff when it comes to collecting and he doesn't step, I don't step on his stuff. 
So he actually does all the collecting for Assassin's Creed. Um, I never really could get into the game, to be honest with you guys, so I'm not really a fan of it. So I'm just playing, LOL. I know you're playing because Juanita Cheetah sent me an invite to go to Cali, so ha. Do you watch anime? No, I do not watch anime. If you can have a Mount Moore, Mount Rushmore of wrestling, who would it be? For me, it would be Eddie Guerrero, John Cena, Edge, and Undertaker. Um, for me, if it was a Mount Rushmore, it would be Stone Cold, The Rock, CM Punk, Hogan, and probably uh, Triple H or Shawn Michaels. Was there a hot toy you wish they would ever make in the future? What would it be? Hmm. That is a good question. I would like Hot Toys to get the license for WWE and start making six-scale WWE figures. That's what I would like to see. Please do a video on your Marvel Legends collection. I will. You know, we're going to work on a room tour soon. So, Philip A., a man, I got here late. Did I miss it? No, you did not miss it. Let's see. Xbox or PlayStation? I am a PlayStation guy. What's better, Marvel or Star Wars? I am a Marvel guy. Are you getting the new Spider-Man game? I did not actually pre-order the PS5, unfortunately, between my work schedule, YouTube, and some other things that I'm involved in. I really don't have time to play video games anymore, so I did not purchase a PS5. As the collection grows and builds, so does the backgrounds and display. Absolutely. Ugh. I want the boys' figures. Is The Rock the real tribal chief since he kind of the biggest star in the fam? <laughs> Nintendo all day for me. I love me some Duck Hunt. OG with the Duck Hunt. How long does the shipping take on the Venipool? I actually did not buy directly from Sideshow. I bought it from my local comic shop last week. They had it in their store. So I really can't give you a straight answer on the shipping. I bought it direct from the store. So... I still may get that Ass Creed Vala, though. <laughs> Ass Assassin's Creed. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and let's take out Venom Pool. So let's get all the plastic around him off. Oy. There's a lot of plastic on this guy. You guys hear me? We good? For some reason I lost audio. You guys hear me? No? You lost me? Oh, we're good now? Okay. No idea what the hell's going on. Freaking Mike's being stupid. So, alright guys. So here is Venom Pool. Um, so this suit is just like straight rubber. Except for the head. The head is obviously the molded plastic. Everything else on this has a rubberish texture to it. So 
let's go ahead and I'll zoom in so you guys can see the portrait. And we'll put one of the tongues in. There we go. Uh, there we go. We put one of the tongues in. You guys can see. Pretty cool. Detail on the teeth. Really, really cool. And the eyes and everything. So, and then obviously, as you guys can see, there's the suit. Like I said, like this is all rubberish. Um, I don't like the gapping right here. You guys can hear the clicking. So, you guys can hear that. So, but the suit is really cool. We got the Deadpool logo. You guys can see all the detail on it, all the texturing and everything. So, and then there's obviously the hands. You guys can see the, um, the bracelets around it. And then also the holster right there. So, you guys can see that. And then obviously the feet. So, let's see how this ports on to the back. There we go. Let's see. All right, so that ports on there just like that. And then there are... Where are the holes for Symbiote to go? Huh. That's weird. All right, well, where do we put the instructions? All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so there's, oh, let's see if we can use the sword. Well, that's one way of doing it. So there are these ports in the back right here that pop out and then you can actually put the symbiote in there. So let's see, make sure we're putting this the right way. All right. 
So here is that. So there we go. She's sword back in. There we go. So tenth looks so you actually basically have the symbiote here that you could attach to the back. And I'll show you guys. So let's do a quick little zoom. So as you guys can see right here, it attaches to the back. There's the port for the sword and everything. So pretty cool. I would actually display it without these uh, these tentacles. I think they take up too much space. So I think just having it without it would be kind of cool. Yeah, so. But I like this, though. The, uh, the art... The articulation on the knee is really good. So these rubber suits are good because, you know, because they don't tear or anything. So that's pretty good. The foot's got some good pivoting to it. As you guys can see, the elbows bend. The head, there's really not much up or down with the head. The head does turn left and right a little bit. And, I mean, that's basically it, guys. I mean, it is actually super badass so let me take God, i hate this let me take this shit off i hate these ten i hate these tentacles if you guys display it i highly dis recommend not doing it with the tentacles or the symbiote however you want to call it so i don't recommend doing it with that i prefer just to keep it like this without it so there we go so I like this. They also have the um, shorter tongue, which I might go with. I might go with two. Such a pain in the ass to put some of these pieces on sometimes. Jeez. There we go. I kind of like this tongue better. This tongue's kind of going up a little bit. I kind of like that one better. So, that's pretty cool, though. If you move the tentacles to the right spot, you get free HBO. Oh, you son of a bitch. So, this is, this, is, this is really dope. I like it. I'm kind of glad I picked it up. I mean, I've seen other people do um, reviews on it. And, um... Some actually a few people actually got it in where the leg was actually broken at the joint. Um, so I'm actually kind of glad mine wasn't like that. But this is a pretty, pretty sturdy figure. It's definitely got some weight to it. And this is really freaking cool. I like this a lot. So I'm glad I picked it up. It, it is it is dope. It is really cool. It's, you know, I wonder if they're going to make any more from the uh, contest of champions one. Um, obviously, Deadpool is a very popular character and so is Venom. So I guess that's kind of like why they decided to do that. But this is super dope. That is the best hot toy you have so far, Seth. I think he's badass, man. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Richard. So obviously, this is really cool. I like this. I'll definitely have to find a, uh, a space for it somewhere. Ugh. Did yours come with the exclusive head sculpt? Trevor, it did not come with the exclusive head sculpt because I did not buy it directly from Sideshow. I bought it from my local comic shop. And when you buy stuff from the local comic shops, they do not get the, um, the Sideshow exclusives. My man, Paul Rodriguez, dropping that five spot. Hot toys, hot toys, hot toys. Thank you, Paul. It is much appreciated, brother. Thank you so much. Really, thank you for that. that. That's awesome of you, dude. Thank you for dropping the five spot. So, uh, can I try the other eyes? Um, let me see. Uh, I kind of really don't want to, to be honest with you. Uh, they are magnetized. Yeah. What up, JR? How's it going, bro? What's up, Noah? Um, theoretical, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post some pictures tomorrow with the other, with the other eyes. Um, I just 
don't really kind of feel like doing that right now, to be honest with you, man. I'm sorry. Sean Z M M9. Hey Seth, shout me out, please. Sean, you just got your shout out, bro. My brother from Queens. You know it. Queens. So yeah, guys. So very, very simple. Not much, not much to it. Um, do I uh, yes, I do have the Marvel Legends Venom Pool. I do. I actually did the uh, build a figure live stream on that um, two weeks ago. So go Mets, eh, go Mets. What does the build a figure look next to it? Um, that's a good question. Where the hell did I put the build a figure? Um, give me one second. Let me see if I can find the build a figure. Hold on. Oh, there he is. Oi. Oi. So here is the build a figure. You guys are curious. So there is the build a figure. You guys can see. pretty similar so it's got the you know the, the chains around the wrist i mean you know obviously this is the rubberized texture you know on that but it's pretty damn close let me uh, zoom out a little bit so it's pretty close it's like a it's like a father and son it's like a father and son so, no, we're not doing a size comparison next to the Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster's staying put right now. So, and we're zooming out. All right, what do we got going on? That holds up surprisingly. It does. They do look very similar. Um, only difference is, is that, um, obviously, the Venom Pool, the, uh, the Hot Toy is like that rubberized texture. And this is obviously your regular generic plastic you know, Marvel Legends figure. Um, but the texture on the suit is there on both of them, um, except here on the shoulder. This is more smooth, where this is more rubberized, like I said, in texture. So, as a New Yorker, would you get a Tupac or a Biggie Hot Toy? I'd get a Biggie Hot Toy. So, LOL, Daddy Pool. <laughs> Are you going to get the Venom Hot Toys? Yes. I saw that today, and I am absolutely smitten over that Venom hot toy. Um, and I'm I will get it. I will get it. So, let's see what else do we got. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, do you have the Joe Fix It Wave completed? Uh, Noah, no, I do not yet. I am still working on it. Um, let's see. Technically, Tupac was born in NY, though. <laughs> George. <laughs> Can you please say Hot Toys, please? That makes my day. Robert, you got it. Hot Toys! Hot Toys! Hot Toys! Well, Rang, what up? I'm almost done, thanks to you. No problem, man. No problem. Diamond Dave coming in with the Tupac. Troll Patrol. Dragon Balls! Just got in. Was the figure any good? Uh, yeah, it's right here, man. It's right here. Here, I'll give you a quick uh, zoom in again so you can see it. So, there's the portrait. Looks pretty good. Obviously, there's the suit. There's the back. Knees and feet. So, you can definitely see all the muscle and the texturing and everything like that. So pretty good i like it i like it i like it a lot appreciate your channel bro no thank you craven we appreciate the support both i and george and everyone else that is a part of mce we thank you all for the continued support how does the gun look in his hands um let me see 
Let me see. I think this is the gun hand, right? There we go. Damn it. There we go. So there he is with the gun in his hand. You guys can see. <laughs> All right. All right. And there goes Baby Venom Pool. Baby Venom Pool. Do, 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 do. Even if you're not a fan of the character, you got to admit the figure is tight. Absolutely left hand for the win. The struggles of doing this live. Come on, punk. Make my day. Shout, please. How's his fig? How's his trigger discipline? <laughs> Fucking guy. Can we watch you put it on the shelf? Justice Buster, where did you put your Mark 47? The Mark 47 is right here at the moment. I know it's hard for you to see. But again, guys, I'm going to be rearranging this. So, you know, you'll see that at some point. Shout out, please. Hot toys. Hot toys. Hot toys. Toys. All right, guys, it is about that witching hour where I like to say goodbye to all of you and thank you all for coming out and enjoying me on another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. Yeah. So, guys, again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Also, be sure to give a thumbs up and just, you know, enjoy what we put out, enjoy the content. Enjoy the content. You have to put the Deadpools together. So, guys, again, as always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to give a thumbs up. As always, be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content in MCE. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night for a live episode of that geek show. We will be back. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the lounge on the next one. But I got to sing you guys out. So it's so hard to say goodbye to all you in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> guys, good night. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.